Hello everybody, Marty Richards with Greater Richland Tourism here today. And we are on the banks of the Wisconsin River. And one of the things I, I think we forget to remind everybody is the Wisconsin River actually runs the whole length of the bottom, the southern edge of Richland County. We kind of forget about that sometimes. And the Wisconsin River brings us a lot of enjoyment, entertainment, fishing. Uh, I've had that experience pretty awesome. Uh, but also there is another event that happens kind of in the middle of the summer that we want to tell you about today. So today I have Mark Cup with me. He is the executive director of the Lower Wisconsin Riverway. And Mark brings just a really unique event and experience uh, to this area. Uh, you launch out of Muscaday where we're at right now at Toria Park. But Mark, can you share with us a little bit about your Voyager canoe trips? Yes, we do this every summer and we do various segments of the river. We uh, launch from Muscaday, sometimes from Port Andrews, sometimes from Gotham, a few other places, Spring Green, um, sometimes from Mazomani, but different segments of the river. And uh, we do a trip from about four hours in length, so try to do a sandbar stop. And these Voyager replica canoes were commissioned by the state of Wisconsin in 1998. They're not your regular canoe. <laughs> These are 25 feet long. We have two of them. They weigh 350 pounds. They see eight adults comfortably. Uh, we insist that people wear life jackets. They're very safe, okay? And uh, I uh, guide these trips myself. We have a very experienced stirring paddler in the other boat. They mentioned we stop on a sandbar. We try to make these educational as well. And we switch I switch boats uh, halfway down, and uh, we give you an experience similar to what the early explorers, Marquette and Joliet, early fur traders, would have had back in the 1700s, early 1800s. So you're going to see the Wisconsin River from the perspective of those early explorers and actually the Native Americans who were on the river at that time as well. Uh, we talk about the flora and the fauna that would have existed at that time, much of which is the same as it is today. And then you get the history lesson, as well as a little flavor of why the Riverway is in place today. So it's, it, it's an exceptional event, a tremendous opportunity uh, for really people of all ages. We ask that you limit it to kids eight, ages eight and up but we would consider a little bit younger than that depending on how precocious your child is but um, most of the time we look at ages eight and up lots of turtles out there lots of other bird life and you never know what you're going to see on the banks of the wisconsin river marty you never yeah. know yeah oh, i can imagine uh, lots is, of eagles for sure yeah and is there a stop in richland city um sometimes when we're launching from gotham um, we consider that Richland City, yep. so we get a little bit of that story. And if we weren't having Lone Rock Bridge construction, a lot of times we go from Lone Rock down to Gotham yep. or Richland City, so we really weave that tale in as you well. You bet, you bet. So if folks watching this, visitors and guests are interested in uh, getting more information, maybe registering for those trips, how would they come about doing that? Well, that's a great question. So you can learn more about it at the Riverway Board website or Facebook page. And to register, you want to call our office, which is 608-739-3188. Or you can send an email to my assistant. That's marcia.curtis at wisconsin.gov. So marcia, M-A-R-S-H-A dot Curtis, C-U-R-T-I-S, at wisconsin.gov. And uh, she'll get back to you if she's not there to answer the phone or reply immediately. And you sign up with your name, email, phone number, and how many people in your party. And we'll get you the information on what to expect for your trip. We start on June 20th with our first trip. They go till the middle of July and um, we still have many slots left so don't wait because they fill up fast and i promise you you'll have a good experience neat well thank you for joining us today and explaining those trips i know that's one of those i caught a sturgeon on the wisconsin river that was on my bucket list i did that last last fall 
Uh, now, the Voyager canoe trip is also on my bucket list, so that's something I better get after because I do know all of a sudden tickets are available and then they're not. So yeah. it does happen. So again, Mark, thank you so much sure. for joining us today. Uh, for more information on that, you can always check our social media uh, with Greater Richland Tourism as we do share that information from time to time. And uh, check our calendar of events at greaterrichlandtourism.com. So for uh, Mark, the Laura Wisconsin Riverway Board, I'm Marty Richards. Let's everybody have a great day. Yeah.